So a few weeks ago, university started again here in Germany. And like every semester, everyone wants this semester to be the one where they stop procrastinating and actually stick to their study plans. But like most semesters, most of us fail within the first three weeks. But what if with a very simple system, you can actually stick to your study plans for once and don't procrastinate until the very last minute. If this sounds interesting to you, I want to introduce you to your new best friends. A calendar, a to-do list and a note-taking app. But first of all, my name is Marcel and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Now let's get back to the video. Now you know the three items you need for this productivity system. It sounds a bit too simple, right? But let me go through them one by one so you understand better how this works. Your calendar is the backbone of your productivity system. In here will go all your lectures, all your group meetings and all the other appointments you have outside of university, like going out with your friends. Ah oh, yeah, right, it's 2020. This will give you a perfect overview over your days, weeks and months so you don't forget any more important appointments. So now the to-do list. The to-do list is very simple, everyone knows it, but it's very crucial to your productivity system. In your to-do list goes every upcoming task you have. Doesn't matter if it's due to in a week or in a month or today. Put every task in there. Second of all, every time you check a task, this will give you a small dopamine hit that will keep you motivated to keep doing your task until you have no task left. And the last part of your productivity system, the note-taking app. Note-taking app is very simple. You just put all your notes from your lectures in there. And also, you put all those amazing ideas you have throughout the day in there so you don't forget them. So now you know the three components of this productivity system. But there are thousands of calendar apps, thousands of to-do lists and also thousands of note-taking apps. So which one should you use? If you already use a calendar or note-taking app or also a to-do list and you actually use them on a regular basis, just keep using them. If it works for you, this is fine. But if you don't, here are some of my favorites. If you already have applications that you use, still stick around till the end of the video because I'm going to show you exactly how to set these applications up so you can use them as effectively as possible. So the most important thing with all of these applications is that they are synchronized across all of your devices. This means your smartphone, your tablet, your laptop or your desktop PC. Using the Apple Calendar on your iPhone and then using the Google Calendar on your PC will not do you any good. First up is the calendar. If you are entirely in the iOS ecosystem, just go ahead and use the Apple Calendar. It works perfectly and you should be totally fine with that one. But if you are not in the Apple ecosystem, I highly recommend using Google Calendar. This one is very easy to use. You can sort all of your appointments into different categories, which just makes your life a whole lot easier. So now for the to-do list. I would generally recommend to everyone using to-do list. To-do list is super easy to use, super easy to understand, and it's very effective. Yes, it has a premium subscription, but the free version is totally fine. I have never come to a point where I was like, I need the premium. So you yeah, are totally fine with the free version. In Todoist, you can assign your tasks into different projects. Also set them up as a routine so they repeat themselves every week or every day. Depends on what you need. By the way, I will leave links to all these applications in the description and also leave some resources for you that go into more detail on how to set up all of these things. Okay, now the final component of your productivity system, the note-taking app. For the note-taking app, I would generally recommend using Notion. By now, Notion has become a YouTube niche in itself. But even if you're not a huge nerd about Notion, it is still very easy to use and very effective. The most important things are that you can create notebooks and in these notebooks you can create different sub notebooks. Oh yeah, and also it can do this, which I'm very excited about every time I see it. So now you know the exact applications you should download onto all the devices. But now let's talk about how to implement them into your devices. We are going to start on your laptop and PC and end on the device you're probably using the most, your smartphone. So, your PC or laptop. First of all, Notion has its own desktop application, so go ahead and install that first. To do this in Google Calendar, you will be using over the web browser. Just set them up as favorites and you have shortcut to them every time you open your, up your browser. 
And that is already it for PC. Now let's get to your smartphone. First of all, if you really want to optimize the usage of your productivity system, I would recommend clearing up your first page of apps on your smartphone and moving them to the second page. So you have the first page free for all your productivity apps. Only keep other essential apps on this first page as well. And no, social media is not an essential. This will make it way easier for you to use all of your productivity apps first thing in the morning before you open up Instagram, YouTube or Snapchat or anything like that. If you really want to take it to the next level, you can also take the app and drag them to the bottom of the screen so you will see them at all times. And that is basically it. I know I'm only scratching the surface of productivity apps here, but honestly, this is all you need to get started. Now, the most important thing is to make using these apps a habit. And if you have made this a habit, you can start playing around with your system and experiment. So guys, this was it for this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, I would highly appreciate it. If you take your next textbook from your shelf and smash that into the like button. And also, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I would highly appreciate it. Also, let's start a conversation in the comments. I'd love to know which subject you are currently studying in university. I would love to hear from you guys. Until then, see you next time.